Hey friends, today we are hanging out at Disney Springs and we are going to be trying some of the new food offerings for the month of March 2022. As you may have known, it's National Women's History Month in March and also we have Gideon's to look forward to. They have a new cookie out and it's a coffee toffee chocolate chip cookie along with a secret menu item and I'm so excited to share it all with you. Anywho, let's go do this. Look at how beautiful it is out right now. I love it. I love seeing the balloon up in the air right there. And I was looking forward to seeing the Batman movie poster here, but it looks like they're still advertising turning red. But the Batman comes out tonight. I am pretty excited to see the Batman. That's why I'm wearing my uh, Roosevelt Joker shirt. I love this Joker shirt so much. And they're doing a special showing of the Batman at Regal Cinemas. I think it doesn't start here at AMC until March 4th. So I'm going to actually try to get tickets to go to Regal Cinema and see it a little bit early. But as of now, I think we're going to make our way over to Gideon so we can put ourselves in the virtual queue so we can try those new cookies and uh, coffees. It's always important that you go to Gideon's first because the line could be a couple hours, they could have a virtual queue, or you can get in immediately. So you wanna do Gideon's first, no matter what, whenever you come to Disney Springs. And here it is, Gideon's Bakehouse. It looks like they're doing a virtual queue, so we're gonna have to go join it. Hopefully it's not a long line or a long wait, but we'll find out once we get up there. All right, we are all joined up with the virtual queue and the wait time is 70 minutes. So 70 minutes we get to come back, get our cookies, and I found out that they're doing a secret menu item. I think it's a, it's a cold brew, so it's a secret menu cold brew. And all you have to do is politely ask for it here at the Disney Springs location. So we're definitely gonna be getting that and the cookie of the month. So I'm excited now. As we wait for our time to actually head into Gideon's, it looks like Disney Springs is celebrating Women's History Month for the month of March. And over at the Hangar Bar, they have Nana's Homestyle Meatballs made by Chef Lori. And look at these meatballs, they look really good and I love meatballs. Handcrafted Italian meatballs, Sunday gravy, basil, pesto, uh, scratch made lemon ricotta, and then also some Romano there. And I think we're gonna actually grab them. I mean, I love coming to the Hangar Bar and also we're gonna see what other cool woman history month items they have here that's why i love coming to disney springs every month because they always have new things going on and if you notice like i've been doing this for a while now every single first of the month i come out show off all the cool stuff and it's always something different because they're always changing it up and making it interesting on the other side of the menu, it also looks like there's another menu item for Women's History Month, and this is created by Chef Natalie, and it's Tostoni's, and it looks like it's crispy pork shoulder with a citrus, or citrus aioli for $12. So we're gonna get both of these items. Now I'm super excited. I love coming out to the hangar bar. It is so well themed, especially inside, but if you go outside, there's still a lot of theming, and plus you have a beautiful view, and it's a nice day, so I think we're gonna sit outside today. Look at this view, isn't it amazing? Like, it is so, so nice out here. And like I said, there is still even some like really awesome theming outside. Look at this radio station right here. How to identify warplanes, and then you've got the international Morse code up there. And some of this stuff actually interacts with you, so I'm pretty sure we can start hearing some broadcast on here. We'll have to keep our eye uh, or keep our ear listening for it. <laughs> Also, right next to the warplanes, I don't know if you see the picture of probably a very familiar looking guy, but look at that. Isn't that so nifty? I've already placed my order. We're gonna get the meatballs and we're gonna get the tostones. And I'm excited because last month we were here for Black History Month and Chef D was putting together some amazing items like the deviled eggs or the chicken on the egg. And I love what they come up with here. And I'm just so excited to continue on checking out because it is, it's amazing food by an amazing team. 
First up is gonna be Nona's Homestyle Meatballs. And take a look at that. You actually get five meatballs. This dish is $14. And like I said, we got a little Sunday gravy on there. And then the lemon ricotta down below kind of holds the meatballs in place along with the basil pesto on top there. And I love meatballs. I mean, <laughs> it's right up my alley right here. And also a little focaccia back here. And this looks phenomenal. Oh, wow. I'm gonna make a little meatball sandwich. And look at this. I'm gonna cut right down. Fancy, get a little bit of that lemon ricotta right there. Perfect. One meatball. <laughs> we gotta try it. That's my meatball song. I love it. Here we go. Mmm. Wow. Now we gotta make ourselves a little meatball sandwich. And these meatballs are so good. I love it. Oh man, this is gonna be amazing. <laughs> I really love these meatballs and I actually like the lemon ricotta too because that is something I really normally don't like but the Sunday gravy is amazing, the pesto and I, I don't know. Now the sandwich is going to make it 10 times better. Oh. <laughs> this might be the best meatball I've ever had in Disney World. Like, <laughs> I hope that, well it is a limited time offering. But wow, if this was on the menu all year round, I would definitely get it every time I came to the hangar bar. Now it's time to dive into the tostones. And look at that pork shoulder right there and the pickled onions. I am so excited. These look so good. You can almost pick them right up. I think I'm just gonna pick it up and eat it. The pickled onions kind of fall off a little bit, but this seems like the perfect little finger fruit item. And we're just gonna bite right on in here. Mm. <laughs> Excellent, I say. And that citrus aioli is phenomenal. So good. Both of these were like home rum dishes, I have to say. I love it. Congratulations to both of the chefs because they came up with some great menu items. Well, that was a great start to the video right there. Congratulations to Chef Natalie and Chef Lori uh, because they put together some amazing dishes for uh, Women's History Month. And uh, the meatballs were so good. And the bread too, the meatball bread combination was top notch, top notch. And now I think it's time uh, for some uh, cookies. Enough with the meatball business, now it's cookie business. And here it is. Here is the artwork and menu for the month of March 2022. Poor Morning Joe had no place left to go. I love it. I get to collect all of these and it's so much fun. And like I said before, they've got the uh, coffee toffee chocolate chip cookie. And then they have the uh, secret menu item, which is a coffee or well, a cold brew coffee. And I think it's a caramel one. I'm not too sure, but uh, we'll find out once we get in there. So we'll get both of those and I love it it's so cool I'm gonna keep this put it in my purse all right it's just about our time after we waited in the like hour and 10 minute virtual queue it only took us like five minutes to actually get up to this point so oh we're going in we're going in <laughs> thank you Ooh, fancy it's so yeah. good Yes, and then the secret, uh, the secret. salty caramel one. Yes, yeah. fancy. Can I get a salty caramel? <laughs> The cookies and coffees have been obtained. Now we're gonna try them, but also I got something that's kind of cool in limited edition in there because you know they do sell merchandise like shirts and pins, and I saw this and I couldn't pass it up. I got a St. Patrick's Day pin from Gideon's. Look at that. I love how it's just a little green, a little green gargoyle, and it was $10. So I was like, yes, please, I'll take that because St. Patrick's Day is, I think, just 16 days away. It's funny because now I'm collecting Gideon's pins, Gideon's artwork, and Gideon's candles. So I, I think I can say that I'm a big Gideon's fan. And now we're going to try the cookie. We're going to dive into the cookie. I had to set it all up for the photo. You know, you have to get the photos. And I do love Poor Morning Joe, though. He is one of my favorite artworks, actually. Isn't that so nifty? And then here's the coffee. And they said it's a salted caramel coffee. And all you have to do is ask for the secret menu item. And right there, here it is. The coffee toffee chocolate chip. 
and I love it. It has so many different chocolate chips on there, and we're gonna dive into it. You guys know me enough that I gotta break the cookies every single time, so here we go. Look at that. It smells so good. You can really smell the coffee in there. So here we go, first bite. Mmm. Wow. It doesn't have like an overpowering coffee taste to it, but I love it. I like it a lot better than the last uh, month's cookie, but not as much as the banana bread one. I love the banana bread one, but this one ranks up there pretty high with me. And uh, yeah, very, very good. And I can't wait to try the coffee with it. You gotta have the coffee cookie combination. After having like a second bite, I think it's a good equal blend between coffee, toffee, and chocolate. And we're gonna add the salted caramel secret menu coffee on top of that. And uh, wow, coffee, coffee, caramel, salted, toffee, chocolate. There's a lot happening here, but I wonder what the combo is gonna be like. Oh, holy moly, oh my lord. That's the good stuff. Oh. It's a little bit sweet, a little bit sweet, but it's good. It pairs up very well. We're gonna take the rest of the cookies home. We just gotta put them in the bag. Bada boom, put them in the purse. Oh no, cookie down! Put that cookie down! I'm not too sure. I feel like that was a mixture between Cookie Monster and Arnold Schwarzenegger, but it was kind of funny the way it just played out. And uh, overall, I loved it. This was a good trip to Gideon's. The coffee, like the cold brew, is a little bit on the sweeter side. And like I said, the cookie was like a perfect blend. Like honestly, if you like, you know, uh, toffee, chocolate, and coffee, it kind of just blends together perfectly. Each item isn't overpowering and you get really good idea of all different three flavors hitting you at once so uh now i think we're gonna move along explore around disney springs a little bit more i made my way over to deluxe burger because i wanted to see what the burger of the month is gonna be for uh march and because it's saint patrick's day in march it looks like they're doing a dublin burger two press signature blend patties with irish cheddar corned beef shoestring fried onions irish stout barbecue sauce lettuce and grilled onions look at that and it actually has an ice uh cream shake irish cream shake i called it an ice cream shake but this looks good i mean i'm not gonna be able to eat it because we already had those meatballs and stuff but i feel like i might be coming back to get the dublin burger and be dublin blessed the dublin burger is definitely going to be one of those things i'm going to come back and try who are we kidding i mean that sounds amazing and plus i'm excited for st patrick's day isn't it awesome like there are so many things happening in the month of march like this is this is going to be a good month here at disney springs and there's a lot to offer in all different locations now we're gonna make our way up to the World of Disney area and see if they have any offerings for March or for St. Patrick's Day. Like I said, there is stuff all over the springs. Let me know in the comments if you guys enjoy these videos of like the monthly updates here at Disney Springs and at the parks. And I'll keep on making them as long as you guys enjoy them. Usually I can tell so like if it gets a lot of likes or views, then I know it's something that you guys enjoy. And it's always good to get some feedback, you know what I mean? If there's something you'd like me to do like anywhere else too, uh, just let me know in the comments and I'll try to, you know, do the best to get everything that I want to show you guys. I stopped to the Daily Poutine to see if they were offering anything for the month of March. And take a look at this. Irish pork bangers. This looks so good. Irish cheddar, onion marmalade, stout gravy, and french fries for $9.99. And I feel like this is another item. There's so much good food. Like, I don't know what to do because I would love to try this right now. But we need to, we need to conserve. We'll definitely be back. If you guys have seen any of my other Disney Springs videos, you know I kind of go to the same places because those are the places that always offer the monthly specials. And Amaretz is definitely on that list. And over at Amaretz, they're celebrating her story with Chef Yole, and she has the passion of my life. Look at this. Pineapple, mango, toasted coconut mousse, coconut chiffon cake, white chocolate crisp pearls, and an infused passion fruit glaciage. And it's $8, but look at how amazing that looks. Wow, I'm kind of excited. I might, I might want to try a little bit of this, just a little sample. Oh my lord, look at this. They also have a turning red cake. 
and this is candy dessert with uh, rich chocolate, a uh, rich chocolate nut brownie with coconut vanilla custard in it. And I think it's the cutest thing ever. Oh boy, I'm torn because I like that, but I also want to try the passion of my life. Oh, I don't know what to do. I really wanted to get the passion of my life, but I could not get over how cute the turning red uh, dome cake is. I think it is amazing, so I ended up getting the turning red cake. Look at this. Isn't that amazing? His eye's a little droopy though. Look at it. It's starting to droop down a little bit there, but I am so happy we got this. I cannot wait to try it. We're gonna have to cut right on into this. I am so excited. I don't want to ruin it though. I'm gonna eat his face. Look at that. Oh, so here we go. Mmm. That is so good. I love it. Oh man. Now my lips are gonna be red though. Let's get a proper look at the inside of that cake though. I'm so happy I got the turning red cake. I mean the other one's probably really good and we're gonna come back because I, there's no way I can actually cover everything down at the Disney Springs uh, that they have for monthly specials in one video. And plus, we're going to come down here probably for St. Patrick's Day. So it'll give us more reason to come back. But I love this. This was so good. And now I think I'm going to take a coconut here. I think that's what it is on top there. Either that or the coconut might be in there. I'm not too sure. Ooh. It's funny because when it comes to Mickey things, you eat ears first, but I guess turning red, we're gonna do ears last, but I can't wait to try them. Here we go. <laughs> mm, wow. I think that's the coconut in the middle there. So I had to get a spoonful of that and I think it is, it's the coconut. Oh yeah. Very, very good. I love it. Chef Yole though, I promise I will be back to try the passion of my life. I will probably be here sometime in the next two or three weeks. So I hope you still have them in stock. That was pretty amazing. Turning Red, I haven't seen the movie yet. So if you guys see Turning Red, let me know what you guys think about it. I am gonna go see Batman tonight because I was able to get the tickets for the special preview uh, that they're doing at Regal uh, Cinemas. So I am super pumped about that. And we'll probably have to leave here soon to catch it because I think they're only doing one showing. Now I think we're gonna actually cut through uh, the world of Disney and you know what's funny we used to take for granted when you used to be able to just walk into doorways you know what I mean this used to be uh, an exit only and you have to walk all the way around the world of Disney now you can just come in right here and uh, kind of feels good a little normalcy back you know and uh, we'll see if they got any new things I don't know much about ears but these actually look so festive like, are these for flower and garden or are they for, like, uh, Easter? But they are so nice. I haven't seen them before either. And then they also have some ears over here that kind of look like they could be for Easter as well. I like it. But these ones, those are, those are really fancy. <laughs> Another cool thing they started selling is candles. So, you know, obviously we've seen a lot of different candle companies making Disney scents. Well, now Disney's finally making their own candles, and I like that. Look at this. They got the Cinderella Castle candle. I kind of want to see what it looks like on the inside here. Ooh, Castle Garden it's called. And then they have a Haunted Mansion one. That is cool. I like the Haunted Mansion one. And it says Master Gracie on it, Madame Leota. And you can see inside here. Oh, wow. These are really, really awesome. I'm not sure how much they are. Oh, $34.99. I don't know if each one is $34.99. Yeah. $34.99 and then they have, uh, oh, they have honey down here for Winnie the Pooh. Then they've got the poison apple. Oh, and then even a Marie right here. That is, those are really cool. You can't really smell them though. I'd like to know what this one smells like. I can't smell anything on the Haunted Mansion one. I tried already. Oh, but the castle one smells good. I mean, I think the Haunted Mansion one is supposed to be kind of like musty, but I really can't tell. It looks musty. You can smell it like a little bit. It does smell like the Haunted Mansion. You can just tell it smells musty by the wick right there. Happy haunts. I like it. 
I've got one more place I want to stop to see if they've got anything new for the month of March. And then, like I said, I think we're going to have to be heading out to go uh, watch the Batman. I'll bring you guys along with me. Obviously, I can't show you uh, the, uh, the the movie, but I can tell you what I thought about the movie. And plus, we'll take you off Disney property because the only movie theater, like the only Regal movie theater that's kind of close is on International Drive and over by the Loop. So we're going to actually go over to the Loop and uh, I'll show you what the movie theater is like over there. Of course, St. Patrick's Day is during the month of March. So a lot of people are going to be coming down here to Raglan Road so that they can participate in the mighty festival, St. Patrick's Week here at Raglan Road. And it is a really good time. And hopefully, like I said, I'll be back to actually do that. And they already have like a lineup already printed out so that you can see what's going on because they, they, they basically celebrate all week long. I was just here the other day for National Irish Coffee Day and they were doing uh, free whiskey whenever you bring up when you buy a coffee so you buy a coffee and you get some whiskey with it and I thought that was really cool and now they're gonna be doing the mighty festival St. Patrick's Week here at Raglan Road here is a look at the schedule. They've got Friday, March 11th, and all the way up to St. Patrick's Day. And they're doing something every single day that week. So be prepared. And if you plan on coming on St. Patrick's Day, it is super crowded here. Probably the most popular spot in all of Walt Disney World to come during St. Patrick's Day. So you should get a reservation. Or you can go to the hole in the wall because they're doing special things over there. And it, I'm so excited. Oh, they're even doing face painting. They're doing face man i'm sure they're gonna have the green beer too so fun i cannot wait and i will definitely be here oh blaine curtis is going to be playing as well all right now it's time to actually head out so we can catch the batman and i'm so excited to see robert patterson uh i want to see how well he does and uh, i was going to get pup cakes for gracie but i just got her some uh just the other day i came here and i dined at chef art smith's homecoming so she has pup cakes at home but we are going to swing by and check on her real quick i already gave her one of the pup cups today so i can't even give her one to you guys to show you i can't give her more than one a day or you know she's going to probably get an upset stomach but uh we're going to swing by there check on her and then we're going to head to the loop give me the loop give me the loop as I was making my way out though, Chapel Hats got some new hats in stock, so I decided to check to see what they got, and I think we might pick up a couple of them. I like to actually get hats from Chapel Hats, but they are a little bit expensive, but you need the expensive kind, because I've, I've, I've went through a lot of hats. I have a lot of fedoras, and I found out that the paper ones, you sweat right through them, and they deteriorate, and they deform, so you have to get like the really good polyester ones, or cotton ones, and the only problem is, is when you're walking around the parks, it actually gets a little hot out, so it, it, it's, a, it's a constant battle with the hats. But they did have some good ones, and I ended up buying some, so I want to show you I got I got some good ones. I got a nice fancy white one. I kind of like this. I might save these for a special day, but look at this. Isn't that nice? Look at the inside. And this is 55% cotton, 45% linen. And we're gonna try it out. Ooh, I'm bald. But look at this. Oh wow. I like that. I like that a lot. Very, very cool. This one is this one was $40, $40. And then I got this one, which is another good one because this one is 100% cotton. This is 100% cotton. It's just a brown hat and I like the inside. But yeah, look at that, some fancy hats. There we go. I'm looking good. I'm looking sharp. Yeah. Okay, for reals now, we have to head out. But look at this sunset happening. Oh, it's so beautiful. I love coming down to Disney Springs. I used to be not the biggest fan because like I didn't know what to do with it and want to shop. But now I love coming down here and just hanging out. It is really beautiful. Look, I want to actually come here soon too. Stargazers. They have a little bar on the outside of Planet Hollywood and they do karaoke there. I'd love to come do some karaoke. I don't know if you guys know, but there's a secret vlog of me singing karaoke with Jackie somewhere. Oh yeah, karaoke Wednesday, 7 p.m. till 11 p.m. That is on the list of things to do right there. There she is! Ah, Crazy Eagle! <laughs> Somebody's gotta go pee pee. What are you doing sitting? You gotta go pee, go pee pee. 
All right, we stopped off and we took Gracie out and now we have made it to the Regal Cinema 16 and it's time for the Batman. I grabbed my uh, baseball cap because I left my fedora at the house so uh, the baseball cap's gonna have to do. But this is the loop area. This is a big shopping mall area. And we've got a Ben and Jerry's, we've got a pizza shop, and uh, the Regal Cinemas with RPX Theater. Not as good as AMC, but it's still pretty fancy. I like the neon lights. And we're gonna head in. I'm a little late. I missed the previews, because I think it started at seven o'clock, and it's 7.01. I don't even think I'll have time to get popcorn. So we're just gonna have to go straight to the seats, straight to the theater. Oh, well, that's kind of cool. I love coming into movie theaters. I really, really love it. I know a lot of people are all about like video on demand, but nothing like coming to the cinema and just seeing a movie. It's one of my favorite things to do. Look at the concession stand. You guys will not believe this, but me getting super excited and not realizing that it is tomorrow. I went, I showed up here at the movie theater, I went to go scan my ticket, and everyone's like, no, wait, what? And uh, yeah, it is tomorrow. The Batman is tomorrow, and I drove all the way over here. Like, <laughs> I can't even believe it. I'm kind of laughing at myself right now because this is, this is craziness, but uh, yeah. I don't even know what to do now. Honestly, I have no idea what to do. I am cracking up. I can't even believe I didn't even notice. I just got so excited that I got the ticket. And would you look at that? Holy moly. I legitimately feel like the biggest fool. I have I can't even believe I did this. I am like so I, I don't know. I'm losing I'm losing my grip on reality. I don't even know what day it is anymore. I can't even believe this. Like you guys don't understand. Like I rushed here. I ran home, ran crazy out, and I drove all the way over here. I mean there are far distance in between. And then I get here and I look like the biggest fool. <laughs> because when I walked in, I was thinking, I'm like, wow, it's not even busy here today. You think like the special premiere, like there would be a lot more people here. <laughs> and I was super excited about the Batman. Holy moly. Wow. Anywho's, I think, uh, I guess that's gonna do it. I guess uh, that's gonna do it for the video. I hope you uh, enjoy the video. I'll let you know what I think of Batman when I do get to see it. The worst part is, is I'm not even gonna be able to use my ticket tomorrow. I'm not even gonna be able to come tomorrow. So I have a ticket I just wasted. Oh, yeah. but I will see it eventually. And uh, yeah, I hope you get to laugh along with me. I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye.